My name's Lenny. And um, explain to me a little bit about all this artwork around. Well, I've been here uh, for 30 years now, uh, painting the house, uh, having parties, doing exhibitions, and collecting art from other artists. And I guess that, you know, when I was young, people told me I was kind of primitive. So I got really interested in, you know, kind of primitive art. I moved to Dalston in the mid-1980s, but I only started to paint the rainbow colours on the outside of my beautiful Victorian Gothic house in 1994. Since then, the house has become a local landmark, which is frequently photographed by passers-by. Inside the house, the walls are covered with murals, paintings and collages by myself and other artists. The Rainbow House, as it is known by locals, is a museum of counterculture in the making. It's home to a unique collection of artworks, posters, flyers documenting creativity in Dalston and many other alternative spaces around the world from the late 1980s onwards. Here you can find the collage door of a demolished 1980s London squat or street art from Berlin in 1990 or posters and photos of Beijing in 2000, paintings, drawings, collages, flyers, from the Cabaret Voltaire in Zurich in 2002. It's one of the biggest collections of underground art in Europe. I was lucky enough to visit many cities where I discovered artists making beautiful things which encapsulated the hidden culture of those times. But sadly many of their works were destroyed along with the buildings in which they were created. They were written out of history. So to counteract that, I became a keen collector of anything I felt could preserve a part of this history for posterity, collecting masterpieces by these unknown creatives and trying to save countless works of art from the trash. <laughs> 